see all this right here? Yeah. This fire started inside. Outside Las Vegas, the desert's a dumping ground for a red-hot scam in this recession. Cars torched for the insurance money. Detective Mark Menzies, full-time beat. This wasn't a typical auto thief that did this. So many cars dumped over such a vast area. Every day, Las Vegas police patrol by helicopter to find them. And in a worsening economy, suspicious car fires have spiked from coast to coast. In California, suspected car arsons almost doubled in the last three years. And in New York, the number of people arrested for setting their own cars on fire jumped 35% in the last year. One weekend alone, Las Vegas police found 10 charred cars. It's just gone completely crazy. I mean, there's, there's probably not a night where there's a vehicle not burning somewhere in the desert or in Las Vegas. Many are late model cars, some just months off the dealer's lot, lit up by people trying to cash in bogus insurance claims. Most of these car fires aren't set by professional arsonists. They're amateurs, everyday people caught in a financial bind, suddenly desperate. And the radio components. John Thompson, an insurance investigator, says real thieves would never leave valuable parts on cars they torch. But on this new Chrysler. Uh, the airbag system is still intact. Uh, the electronics are still in the vehicle and all the seats. Everything about this says amateur job to you. Yes. And surveillance videos show amateurs at work. This guy struggled to light this Toyota Tacoma and spotlighted himself for police to arrest. When flames dimmed inside this Cadillac Escalade, the frustrated arsonist opened a door. A surge of oxygen sparked a fireball and set him on fire. Menzi says these are usually people who've never been arrested for anything, now deep in debt. This isn't your career criminal, this is your neighbor. No, exactly. Neighbors desperate enough to roll the dice in a city famous for bad gambles. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Las Vegas.